Okay, so I'm back for episode 2, and uh, now this is mainly going to be storyline, and uh, quests, and stuff like that. Um, okay, so normally when you spawn, there's like a sign saying read not one, so I'm just going to plop that down, so that's the normal one. Read not one. So this is um, the normal one, and then you would have... Um, now normally if you have a storyline, you'll see the uh, signs around saying read note 1, read note 2, or read, so on and so forth. And then that will refer then to a folder which you would, would have been given um, with your map. So when you download the map, you'll probably come in the RAR, you'll get the map and also uh, a list of notes. And then the signs will say read note 1, you would read note 1, and they would tell you what to do. Um, now there are several other methods methods of getting people to know or tell them a certain storyline. Um, now one of these can be just to write the entire storyline out on the signs. Uh, one way as I've already shown is to write read note one and then have a little bunch of text in a text document. Um, but a new way and one of my favorite ways is to use a pressure plate. Um, now this is where it goes into the red zone of things. So if you don't want to consider, um, have red zone in your adventure map, um, uh, you may want to skip this bit. Um, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the new command blocks to have a little storyline going. So so that you don't, um, every time you step on it, it doesn't... Um, play every single time because that would be a bit stupid. You don't want the storyline um, playing all the time. Uh, I can have an RS no latch. If I step onto this, you can't see on this side. So you would have, you will have to manually reset it. But if you want to have as a one play only, then that will be fine. Or you could have a redstone then to toggle back after a certain amount of time, or if they've left a certain amount of an area, or so on and so forth. Um, so I'm going to grab a uh, command block and one three seven. Is it one? Oh, okay. Copy my name. Silly me. Um, okay, so I'm going to have it set up like this. Um, down another level. Now this can be a bit confusing and how it works, but command blocks uh, are rather new thing so not many people know how to use them that well um, so I'm just going to go over some basic things with them so basically the basic gist of them is um, you power them red zone they do whatever they are inside and um, if you really want to know more about command blocks check out a video I made which is entitled everything you need to know about command blocks which is a bit out of date um, but it's got everything you really need to know about it pretty much um, so command blocks are a solid block, so resin can get pumped through them. So I'm going to use them in this. So um, this can go on then for however long you want it to. This is not just a, this can not only be used for the first one, but it can be used for every single time you want to add text in or anything like that. Um, so I'm just going to have these going along. That should be plenty. Um, so the first one I'm going to do is a game rule, uh, and it's going to be command block output, which means, do you want the command block to tell you what it's doing? Um, now you do want it as in the forward slash say command, but you don't want it as in this uh, command block is telling you blah blah blah, and then underneath it, what it's tell told you. Um, I apologize if that made no sense right um uh, then, but oh well. Um <laughs> so basically this is an optional thing I just like to put in there because it makes a bit more sense. Um and then you write uh, your say command. So say you know, this is what you're gonna tell the player. So I normally have like a person's name a mother um copy this. So your mother would say, I don't know, get up. So I'm going to actually start that off with a capital letter. So 
So this is going to be however long you want it. So that's what it would say. It wouldn't say down to Harris. It would say different. Um, so let's actually test this out at the moment. Uh, and you see, at is in brackets, and it says mother and get up. So that symbolizes your mother shouting at you to get up. Because um, you've obviously slept later, I don't know. Um, so let's just create a simple storyline so I actually have something to go by. Um, let's have a boy um, late for school. How about that? Seems like a good starting point. I mean, it'd be the best storyline ever. Um, but oh well. So I'm just going to write um, a dodgy storyline. So that should do, um, and then you know, yeah, then what I normally like to do is like have a a quest kind of thing, um, so and then just have these like that. I'll do. Let's try that. Um, I'll do. Um, so this then is your what I like to have as a quest. So this would be a. Uh, Signifying the start of a start of a block of text in a quest. This would be quest. Bass, and then you'd have a have it ending. So let's try it out. Now this should uh, be good. So it goes: get up, you're late for school quick or you'll miss the bus uh, and then quest get to the bus now I'll disconnect reconnect so the chat oh my, my multiplayer there there you go so sugar it oh let me reset it first mate it might help get up you're late for school quick or you'll miss the bus quest get to the bus so obviously then if you stun it again it wouldn't trigger uh, and then you'd obviously have a bus station out here. So, um, next episode, I'm going to be, uh, I'll build a bus station and I'll start getting some ta tasks and challenges in, um, maybe some hardcore, uh, maybe some just general puzzles stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, I uh, hope you are enjoying the tutorial series. Um, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and share. And goodbye.